This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics is everything your team needs to build, learn, and compete. Check out their FTC starter kit, intake hub kit, and odometry wheel options at studica.com slash robots. Teams in the USA can get up to 25% off and apply for grants at studica.com slash robots. Our next team is coming up. Uh, Striking up, yes, you can ask the same question about both teams. That's fine. Uh, so our next team coming up here is going to be 10829 Bay Robotics. They're a new team here for about 30 hours. We haven't had them on before. So welcome, guys. Uh, let us know who you are, and let's break down. There's some, a lot of great progress. If you didn't see the uh, TikTok we posted earlier with Bay Robotics, they have some uh, great progress on a really cool uh, bucket, but a lot of great stuff going on here, guys. Uh, let's hear more about it. Hello, I'm Mario. And I'm Dylan. I'm Nick. And just a quick overview of our robot. We have our chassis completed, and what we've developed so far is two completely separate components. We have a linear slide system on one end, and then on the complete opposite end is we have a claw and just kind of a basic arm system. Yeah, and going a little bit more into depth on it, uh, so this arm system right here, it folds out, and this will be what our intake system is, as well as for our first bucket. And I'll let Nick talk about it just a little bit more. Yeah, so. <laughs> the first part of our intake is this arm coming down. It's a little claw, and it'll clamp on to the samples. And the second step is the arm will uh, raise like this, and it'll place it in hopefully the second bucket. Yeah, and then continuing with the rest of our robot here, this right here is our bucket. And if you saw the TikTok before, it is a little bit of a unique play on things. They're two completely separate mechanisms, and they play on the specimen pickup. So if we can go quick go over there, we're going to take a look at it. And this will be our first time uh, trying it on the field, so let's see if it works. So when we were looking through the game manual, we found that you are able to hang them on the side of the field as the human player. So the robot should be able to come in right below. And if it has ample space, come right behind it and pick the specimen right up from the side of the wall. And then from there, this slide system will then be used to place them. Now this system will need a little bit more work. We're still working on getting a 3D printed version. That will be done by the end of the night, probably tomorrow. Um, but from there, we'll also have a servo that is able to help us click it right into place. Though from what we did find in the game manual, it does not seem like it is completely necessary to click it on, just a little unsafe for if we want to keep those points. So we had a question come in uh, from Maximum Voltage 7784. Uh, can you talk more about kind of your plans to iterate on your intake? What are maybe some next steps for that? So what we've started with the, the claw, it's kind of going off of what we had last year, which is a four bar mechanism. And what we're thinking about in the future though, is to probably have some linear slides to have more reach inside of the, what is this called? The, the, the yeah. So we want to reach more inside because what we've noticed is we have minimal reach there. But what we like about this is that we're able to score on the smaller bucket. So we're trying to figure out uh, how we can use those slides to probably get more reach in there, but also still be able to score on the small bucket. And one quick thing to add, too, since these are two separate systems, something that we can explore in the future is having some sort of transfer system on um, just with it being a 30 hour build. We just don't really have the time to develop something that complicated. Um, so the intake system definitely will have a lot of space to improve. Another question come in. Uh, uh, Struggling off asking, uh, again, in regards to your design, because uh, you have some extensions going out there. So with the boundary rules, how are you approaching your extensions in your robot? So we're really just sticking with um, that linear slide right there. That just is vertical. So we're not really worried about that part. Everything that is within the robot, as you can see it right now, this is within the 18 by 18 space. And just by looking through the rules, we weren't really super concerned with the current state of our arm intake. Um, but in the future, if we were to add slides, then we'd have to start considering how that boundary will affect us, um, keeping in mind that those slides will probably stay vertical. Um, but those are subject to change in the future. So a lot of great progress on our team so far. What are your next steps? What do you want to get done on day one by the end of the night? So we'd like to have uh, our 3D print completed to complete our claw intake. 
and then kind of just do a lot more testing and maybe try to develop some code as well for it. Awesome, guys. We look forward uh, to all the progress you're going to be bringing here. A lot of great stuff, and we can't wait to make some more videos with you. So let's give Bay Robotics a big round of applause uh, for their progress so far. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics is everything your team needs to build, learn, and compete. Check out their FTC starter kit, intake hub kit, and odometry wheel options at studica.com slash robots. Teams in the USA can get up to 25% off and apply for grants at studica.com slash robots.